Climb every mountain, ford every stream. Oh, this phone has been through the fire. Cue the intro, please and thank you. it's brooklyn and i'm back once again with another youtube video so as you guys can tell from the title i'm going to be giving you guys another q a i haven't done a q a in over a year that was actually the very first youtube video that i uploaded on my channel and that's when it all kick started for me i did ask you guys on tiktok and instagram mainly to ask me some questions and y'all did come through so i'm about to answer those for you guys for those of y'all who are new hi my my name is Brooklyn and I post faith related content and I also sprinkle some stuff here and there as well. If you guys haven't already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and turn on those post notifications so that way you guys will not miss out on any uploads. So without further ado, let's get on started. Ay, ay, get on started. Ay, ay. Okay, so the first question is, what is your favorite scripture? Most people know that my favorite scripture is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, which is trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Honestly, that scripture is still one of my favorites, but I guess my second favorite scripture would be Romans 8, 38 through 39. That scripture has really gotten me through some really difficult times. And so those two are definitely like this when it comes to my favorite scripture. What is your favorite book in the Bible? Ooh, it's a tie between Proverbs and Romans. <laughs> Like those two are probably my favorite books. I read both of them and they were both so knowledgeable and so like they were both just so good. I love both of those. What is your favorite thing about God? Let me see, what is my favorite thing about God? I have a lot of favorite things about God, but one of my favorite things about God is the fact that the fact that he knows already what you're gonna do, the mistakes you're gonna make, yet he still continues to keep his hand over your life. That alone, Listen, that alone really be having me in awe because it's like, how, like, you know everything about me, yet you still love me, you still show me grace, and you still show me favor. Ain't nothing but Jesus. What is this summer looking like? Definitely researching schools for college because I'm a senior. Yeah, I also want to go to the beach because the beach, I hadn't been to the beach in forever. And the last time I went was for my sister's birthday. And that was like the first time I went to the beach in years. So I definitely want to go back again. Most definitely filming content for you guys and on my social medias, living my life, I guess. What did you learn after you started YouTube? One thing that I did learn is that your time will come, bro. There were times where I would post, like I would be so dedicated to posting and really growing my YouTube channel. And it's like, there were times where I was like, what is taking so long? One thing that I learned through the process of doing YouTube is your time will come. And when that time comes, God will make sure that you know that that time has come. And another thing I learned is that, you you, know, you may not see all of it but people are watching you people are really watching your content they're being inspired by what you put out there i kind of use that as fuel to keep going and to keep posting what i post it's really helping people out here i can only give credit to my lord and savior because he's the one who gave you this platform anyway okay so i actually got a few questions that were asking this same question <laughs> But it says, what do you plan to do after high school? P.S. Love your videos. Thank you, girl. So my plans after high school is I do want to go further in performing arts, um, definitely delving into music and even going into musical theater as well, just because I still want to have a repertoire of performing, being on stage, and also going deeper into music because I love singing, I love music. And yeah, what is your favorite Bible story? I guess one of my favorite Bible stories would probably have to be the woman caught in the act of adultery. Just because that story is one Bible story that is mad relevant for us today. Because listen, listen, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely... 
I love how motorcycles just love to, you know, vroom vroom when I'm trying to film. Like, that's so disrespectful. But yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite Bible stories. My mind completely drew a whole blank. What was the worst and best moment of your life? One of the best moments of my life is getting baptized. That, I got baptized October 24th, 2018. And that year, that summer leading up to that was such a pivotal moment in my life. That's when I really started to get serious about my relationship with Jesus. And I was like, you know, I want this. Now is the perfect time to get baptized because I had went through so much in that summer in a good way, you know, I experienced experienced so much and I basically kind of had a spiritual growth spurt in a way and I was sure about it but yeah that was one of the best moments in my entire life. The worst time of my life one of them would probably have to be losing my bishop. He passed away April of 2020 and I was devastated. It was horrible. I just remember feeling so heartbroken. God called him home and it was just his time. Although it still hurts today I know that he is in a much better place now and he's definitely earned his crown. I'm just really grateful that I was able to be under his leadership for the 15 years that I had with him. He really poured into me, not only me but my friends, my family. I'm just very, I'm just so blessed to have been able to know him. Let's, let's move on before I get sad. Are you ready for your senior year? For the most part, yes. <laughs> It's like, I'm like a little not ready, but I'm like mostly ready. Yeah. <laughs> what are your inspirations? Definitely Jesus. Duh. You guys, you guys inspire me. Some of my friends who sing, um, they inspire me to really put myself out there and to do my best. My sister definitely inspires me because my sister is very driven. She inspires me to not be so timid, but to go for it and to not be so shy. And definitely my chorus teacher. Not only is she a woman of faith, but she has also pushed me to do opportunities and to really be my best self when it comes to my gift and my talent. What is your next YouTube goal? Definitely getting monetized. <laughs> Reaching a thousand subs and 4,000 watch hours. I recently just hit 500 subscribers, which again, thank y'all so much. Oh my gosh. I'm so grateful for you guys and so thankful for the support and for the love. Reaching a thousand subscribers is definitely my next goal. What is your favorite clothing brand? Let's see, Louis Vuitton. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Probably Shein. I shop there a lot when I have the opportunity to. Hot Topic, even though I only go there for their graphic tees. Rue 21, those are the main three that come to mind. I love me some good clothes, okay? Top three favorite clothing brands. Do you want to go to a four year college? That is the plan. <laughs> I do want to attend a college for four years, make sure I apply to some scholarships, getting some money for school or whatever. I'm also making it imperative that I apply to an HBCU because we gotta love an HBCU, come on. Have you ever thought about a big shop? Several times, okay? Yo, let me tell y'all something. When quarantine first hit, I was like really debating on whether I should just cut all of my hair off. I was like, mom, I just want it all off. Like, I don't even care anymore. And knowing me, like volume is everything. And I love when my hair is like in a big puff or whatever. I love when I do that with my hair. But I'm like, do I really need this much hair on my head? Is it imperative? Is it a necessity? Do I really need this? So to answer your question, yes, several times I have debated on cutting my hair off. And I think the main reason why I wanted to cut it off was because I just didn't feel like maintaining it. What are your top three favorite musical artists? Woo, child. I have way too many. Um, Montel Fish, without a doubt. Y'all already know. His music is such a vibe and I think it's just so like needs to be appreciated more. Ugh, Kim Burrell, without a doubt. Kim Burrell, she be like making me do that stank face every single time I listen to her sing. And I have to say for number three, Kiara Sheard. Kiara, <laughs> I have no words for her because I think it's just so funny how she thinks she has the right to just stand flat foot and blow my edges away. How you just gonna do that to people? Do you miss me? Yes, girl, I miss you so much and you know who you are. Like, oh my gosh, I miss so many people right now and I can't wait to see you guys again because it's just like... 
I haven't seen this person in over a year and some change. Like, I miss you so much, girl. We should definitely meet up soon. 11th graders high school advice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just let you know right now. A lot of people say that your junior year is the most stressful year. I really came into it thinking, oh my gosh, it's about to be this huge thing. Like, I'm about to be over here stressed out, my hair turning gray, falling out or whatever. But no, like, that didn't really happen. There were a few times where I had, you know, I had to just break down for a second. I would say your experience is your experience because everybody's different. Breathe, just stay calm, cool, and collected. I pray that your junior year isn't stressful. You do well on your SATs, girl. Whatever you gotta do to study, you better do it, girl. If you could do one thing to change things in the world, what would it be? If I could do one thing to change things in the world. Honestly, I think one thing I would do to change things in the world is to, I know it's gonna sound cliche, being that light that some people may not have ever experienced, if that makes sense. Like just being a positive influence in other people's lives. Because in all honesty, and if we're being real, not everyone has a role model in their lives. Not everybody has someone they can call a friend or a mentor. So I would love to be that for somebody. One action can really like have a reaction amongst so many other people. You doing that one act of kindness or you changing one person's life can impact so many other people's lives. So I really don't know how to answer this question. Definitely just being the light. I know I keep saying that. I know y'all hear me say that so many times, but there is so much darkness in this world, man. And just more unity. U-N-I-T-Y-A. What is your opinion on all of the police brutality and racism? I think that it is disgusting and heartbreaking, especially seeing the George Floyd murder and everything happening. Also on top of that, the Asian hate. When I see stuff like that, it really takes a toll mentally on me. When the George Floyd murder happened, that whole week I stayed off of Instagram. I tried to stay off Instagram as much as I could. It's just like, how can you have so much hate in your heart that you want to kill some Body for absolutely no reason. Like, how could you just say, oh, I'm gonna take this person's life because of the color of his skin or her skin? That makes zero sense to me. And honestly, behavior like that legit makes my blood boil. You just gotta do better at living in peace with one another, even though I know that's easier said than done and I know it's not gonna happen with the snap of a finger. It takes people with common sense and with a purpose to create a better society to make that happen. And it can't happen without God, especially. I feel like, and me and my sister have this conversation so many times i feel like with especially with gen z i wouldn't say that racism would ever die out but when gen z grows up i feel like eventually racism won't be as prevalent because majority of gen z you know we're very inclusive when it comes to different cultures different races and we don't play that racist stuff, okay? At this point, it all boils down to how you're brought up. If you see a young person making racial statements and racial slurs and doing this and that, it boils down to how that person was brought up and how their parents are raising them. As for me in my house, my parents taught me how to not be discriminant against people of other races and of other cultures. We were taught to love people no matter what your race is. I could care less what race you are. Like, I love you, period. It doesn't matter. We just gotta do better as a society and y'all know i love everybody everybody is welcome on my channel i know it's easier said than done but i believe that we can make it happen what is one food that you would eat for the rest of your life initially i wanted to say pizza but i don't think that's a good choice i would say cornbread too but that's not good either so i would probably have to say apples fiber amen praise the lord can you hit the note at the end of be without you by mary j blige be without you baby. Yeah, that's all I can do. Mary J. Blige, she belted that note. I can't do all that. <laughs> Mary J., you got it. You got it. You got it. You know the Jasmine Sullivan challenge. I want to see you do it. I don't know if there's a new Jasmine Sullivan challenge. <clears throat> it's been a while, so let me try. But I won't take that no more. Oh. One more time. But I won't take that no more. There we go. <laughs> I did do it on my Instagram, but I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
I archived it like when I started my Instagram page over. So if you could be on any sitcom, what would it be? Ooh, I would want to be on either Sister Sister or Moesha. Fresh Prince, That's So Raven. Any one of those shows, I would love to be on. Do you drive? We're working on it. Praise God, uh-huh. Okay, so basically like I am working on getting my permit. That's one goal of mine this summer and then eventually get my license. Fear had a lot to do with it. <laughs> That's why I haven't started driving yet. It's like, I get the gist of driving, but I was just really scared because I felt like I was incapable or I couldn't do it. But I, ooh, child, get, get thee behind me. After I study and everything, which I have been doing, I think I got it. And I just need to stop overthinking because I overthink so much. It's it's terrible. And I'm definitely going to be driving soon because, you know, <laughs> vroom vroom. Can you sing How Far I'll Go from Moana? Aw, um, I'll sing a little bit. Hold on, I may need to look up the words. <laughs> I'm going to sing the chorus. See the line where the sky meets the sea. It calls me. No one knows how far it goes. If the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know how far I'll go. Amen. What is your favorite non-Christian music? So I definitely love old school music. That's literally majority of what I can tolerate. Lo-fi music, instrumentals, that really helps me focus. Like when I'm studying, that's the only music I can listen to because I will really be focused. You know what I'm saying? Opera, okay, listen. Over quarantine, I grew to have a bigger appreciation for opera music. Like Kathleen Battle, Jesse Norman, Ingeborg, Hallstein, I think that's how you say her name. Those three are probably my favorite opera singers. They're amazing, especially Jesse and Kathleen in their um, spirituals concert they had. They were singing, okay? Like they was, they was singing. How can I become a better singer? I'm pretty sure I sing off key. Any app recommendations? I definitely recommend taking some chorus classes or some vocal lessons because singing can be taught. Please do not believe that deception that you cannot be taught how to sing. But getting voice lessons or taking music or chorus classes in school if you're able to you could also sharpen up your music theory yeah so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video like i said do not forget to hit that subscribe button i just want to say a huge 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 thank you to everybody who has supported me i am so grateful that jesus blessed me with this opportunity to have this platform and to really pour into you guys and to be an inspiration Seeing y'all's comments and seeing y'all's messages really make my day and they really make me smile. Just, I'm just so grateful for all of you guys. Like y'all don't even understand. I love you guys so much and God loves you more, okay? If you haven't already, do not forget to follow me on my socials, which are up here and down below as usual. God bless you guys. I love y'all so much and I will see you next time. Mwah, bye. Yeah.